This is my ninth walk here at Drude Hill Park. I started this walk July the 6th, 2013. I'm here to get people up and moving and to also, as I always say, to let them know that age is nothing but a number. And walking is one of the best ways of getting some exercise. Partnership between the University of Maryland and the community is so important for helping people to be healthy. We're trying to transform the way in which we're doing research at University of Maryland by talking with patients up front and trying to find out what are the questions that patients have and then answering those questions in collaboration with the community. Events like today, where patients are out walking and thinking just about being healthy in general is the best way to start thinking about improving your health. And so I'm just thrilled to be invited to participate in the walk today and to meet people and let them know that the University of Maryland is happy to help them to be healthy. I came today because Ernestine Shepherd, they to support her this morning with a walk around the reservoir. And it's a good thing. I would like to be places where there's people just being encouraged to keep themselves fit and keep moving. I tell you, I look at so many people that don't do anything, and I'm blessed at my age. The only pill I take is a vitamin. I don't have no high blood, low blood, or anything. So I got to say at 80 years old that it has to be something within this running. And I'm to the place now that after surgery, I don't have any problems. I can squat. I can pull the knee up. I can bend and I can do a little running, but after 35 years of running, I think it's time to walk now. So <laughs> I'm in my 40s now, so it's good for me to get back in shape and stay in shape because of my health and this condition. I advise everyone that's sitting in a couch, that's just watching TV, or just not doing any kind of exercise, any kind of movement to get out and be aware that your health is very important for you to live longer. I am here today because I need to improve in my health. I need to be an example to my family, to my friends, and because this is a great morning to be out with community, helping the whole of Baltimore get moving because it is our temples that we reside in that give us the capacity to do all the wonderful things that they are to do and see in this earth. And so today, Baltimore City is taking by force, and I'm out here to be a part of that force. I think that the idea of walking in any community is important uh, for obvious cardiovascular reasons, but it also increases a sense of community, and that alone decreases crime and challenges challenging neighborhoods like the one I work in. And I think that, you know, uh, walking, running, any type of fitness that's free is the best thing for the community for all those reasons. You do it with your family, you do it with people in the community, you do it with your friends group, and make the city a better place. We even here for Thompson and Turner's team because the work they do in this community. I mean, look, look, look around you. Look at all these people that are here. He just brings out the community. He's trying to get everybody fit and, and together in this town. And unlike other trainers, you have to pay thousands of dollars to just to have them walk around. They do all the goodness of their hearts to send a message to all young people and old people that we can be physically fit and take care of our communities and enjoy our beautiful city park. So we're here for Chauncey and Miss Ernestine. Yeah, Chauncey's our trainer, but uh, we first met him because we were doing uh, a childhood obesity event. So he's such a, a great fitness activist. He's always Miss Ernestine, and that's why they're really special. Good morning. Um, this event is important because it's about health. Um, being healthy all over the three components, mental, emotional, and physical fitness. It's about bringing the community aware of what's going on and letting them know why it's it's just a good thing for you all over body and it's just spirit. It's just feeling good, being happy. That's what it's about, being happy. I'm so excited to see so many people, but in particular so many people of color and women and men out here being excited about health. I know this thing is going to grow every year, every year. It's about seeing people living healthy, being healthy, and doing something different. People need companionship when they work out, and they need accountability. So when you have this event, and right now it's monthly, it encourages people to uh, like show up for the event because they will be with so many other people that they have so much fun with. But it also encourages you to do something during the week so you'll be ready for the, the walk each month. So that's why it's a, a good thing because it keeps you accountable because you have something to look forward to. Hopefully this will motivate them to continue on 
doing the same thing. So this is why Ernestine gives us about at least once a month. So you got at least once a month to come out here and be with a group of people and at least get about three, maybe five miles in of good walking, good exercise, burning those calories. That's what it's all about, burning calories. I looked forward to the camaraderie and being with folks this morning and uh, starting my day off with a little physical activity. Well, hopefully it can just get bigger and that, that we can just like have a city-wide thing where people come out and join people of all ages and all different fitness levels. This is a very good initiative for our community to come out to exercise so that we can all be fit, so that we can all have a good temple and we protect our temple and also Miss Ernestine, she's a phenomena in herself and I'm so glad that I was able to participate in today's event. I look forward to doing it again. It reminds you how important it is to be fit. It feels good to be out here, it gets you prepared for the day, for the week, it helps you release all the stress, any other, you know, uh, obstacles you might feel, you don't feel them when you're out here walking. With Be With Fit for Healthy Babies, we want to get women healthy so that they can pay it forward and make the family healthier and I am a big supporter of that so if I can get out there and inspire people it'll get them out healthy and all that mentality that it's too cold to be outside no it's not and I'm here because it's good to get out and move and stay active in the community with people that are sponsoring really great things like this I think it's good um, to have the community come out and work because health should be at the forefront of our lives I think that you know we should take the forefront because a lot of things going on in the community um, these days and um, to be examples for our children especially being a teacher I think it's important our children learn from us and once they see us doing those things they'll follow suit so I think health is very very important an event like this is even a plus well I want it I want it to pop up in every community I want everybody to hold somebody else accountable for their fitness so if everybody is helping one other person this thing can grow to millions of people doing it every Saturday out in the park and also we would like to have Baltimore to know that we are a walking city and we do care. Chauncey and I care so very much about others. It's not about us, it's about other people.